Look at this, folks. Is she pretty? Or beautiful? What do you think? Immaculate line lay as every Shimano with oscillation warm. Look at this new handle. I mean, the paint has this metallic color with this um, metallic, what is it called? Particles inside. I mean, this is one good looking reel. 2021 Complex XR C 2000 F4. This reel, folks, is a Shimano Vanford with very few differences that I'm going to tell you first thing in the video so you don't have to watch the whole thing. The first difference is, and I count it as a difference, the paint job. I know every two models have different paint. They never look the same. But, I mean, I never understood why Shimano released such an ugly reel when they released the Vanford. The paint is just horrible, very dull, very boring. Those of you who own a Vanford will confirm that it just doesn't look nice. So, first upgrade, incredible paint job. This is just, in my opinion, a better looking reel than the Vanquish. Second upgrade is the handle. If you look at these two handles, the Vanquish, uh, the Vanford handle looks very cheapish, okay? Not as bad as the older reels, but this here is looks the same like on, uh, on the Vanquish. Now, I don't have a 1000 size Vanquish. I cannot confirm if it is the exact same part. Let me know if you know. But it looks to be the Vanquish handle. However, I removed both of these handles and they weigh exactly the same. So the handle is also an aesthetic uh, improvement and not a mechanical improvement. You don't save any weight. As a matter of fact, the Complex XR is a few grams heavier than the Vanford because it has more bearings. All of the other differences between these two reels are inside the spool. So, over here, under the spool, out of the box, the Complex XR comes with a bearing. And I do have a bearing here too right now in my Vanford, but out of the box, it comes with a plastic bushing. So, one bearing more. Then, on top of the spools, you will see on the left, the Complex XR has another bearing. Okay. And this spool here... Not only does in the Vanford it doesn't have a bearing, but there is no bushing, so it cannot accept a bearing. You, you cannot swap it. So that makes actually two differences, this fact alone, because first of all, you have another bearing extra, so you have two extra bearings. But then the spool is also different, and it's made to accept a bearing on top. So, while the spools are still interchangeable, if I take this spool with the bearing, I can put it in a Vanford and I can get the Vanford spool and put it in the Complex XR. While they're interchangeable, I would say the Complex XR has the more expensive spool because it is designed to accept another bearing. Notice, however, that because this spool is designed to accept a bearing, now you can put a smaller drag washer here. You can see here in the Vanford, the drag washer has a lot more surface. Well, the extra surface is over here where the Complex XR has a bearing. We have extra drag washer surface. So you will never have as much drag washer surface here, no matter what you put. I put felt here already. But even if you have felt here, you're not going to have as much felt surface as in the Vanford. It just doesn't fit. By the way, the original drag washer is this carbon washer here. 
it's very sticky and surging okay but I read about this and I saw that and by the way I have two spools I bought an extra spool it was not a mistake guys and Shimano is actually advertising this as a special feature that they called fast response drag and basically what they say the drag does is it allows for more line to be released very fast and the way they explain it, if you get a small mouth close to the bolt and the small mouth makes a very fast run, conventional drag washer, even though it's soft, it cannot release a line very fast because it has so much surface. And this smaller surface and just harder surface drag washer can release a lot of line very fast. It kind of holds, holds, holds pressure. And then it, when it finally releases drag, it releases it releases a lot of line very fast. Look at this drag. It's not a big fish, but it's a good load. And the drag still doesn't want to play. Come on, be a boogie. Be a volume. What was Shimano thinking? Releasing the reel like this? I don't know. <clears throat> so if that was the goal of Shimano, they did achieve it. If you plan on fishing for smallmouth bass with a 1000 size complex XR, then maybe you don't need to replace this carbon washer to me, it bothered me so much. I'm not gonna call this defect anymore because it was intentional and Shimano achieved exactly what they wanted to achieve. So I'm not gonna call this a defect. It still bothers me. I already put um, felt in both of my reels, but the metal washers on top of the felt washers are not the same either. Look over here on the left, the metal washer on the Vanford look how much surface uh, you have that is touching the felt. All of this here, all of this area is touching the felt. Now the same part of the complex XR metal washer is much smaller. What this means that even after you replace the carbon washer with felt, you're still not gonna have exactly the same drag as in the Vanford. I just want you guys to know that it is not easy to retrofit the complex XR drag to the Vanford. You cannot just buy one of these $1.50 uh, felt washers, even though this will make it much better and good enough for most people. Mechanically, it will still not be exactly the same as in the Vanford. So keep that in mind, okay? Out of the box, my exact reel was very smooth and very quiet and it actually felt better than the way my Vanford felt when I first got it out of the box. But it had the exact same unnecessary resistance that the Vanford had. So I opened the reel and I found pretty much the same stuff. The oscillation warm in these reels seems to be always over greased. And also there was too much grease on these idle gears, you know, next to the oscillation worm. And in my reel, some of the grease from the pinion gear had fallen off and was touching the frame now and had some, uh, was creating some extra resistance. Removing the extra grease from this reel made such a positive difference that if somebody tries this reel right now, they will just say, that's, that's the new Vanquish. I mean, the reel feels incredible right now, feels so airy, the resistance is completely gone. It feels airy and somehow sharp. I think I can feel that there is less grease between the teeth of the gears and this sloppiness. I don't know, the reel feels kind of, kind of sharp. And I think actually that in terms of, just in terms of resistance and inertia, the reel is competitive with Vanquish right now, just in terms of resistance and inertia. 
It's still not a vanquish though. Don't let anybody tell you that they removed the grease and they put different grease and they put more bearings here on the oscillation worm and they got a vanquish now. It's still not going to be a vanquish. First of all, there is just at least my real, I mean, too much free play in the handle here. I cannot believe that with all of the advancements in technology, I mean, reels have gone such a long way. In 2021, a $300 reel from Shimano still has so much free play here. This just doesn't exist in the Vanquish. The other thing is, there is one downside from removing, I mean, I removed all the grease from the oscillation worm, and um, idle gears and removing grease from idle gears is more challenging uh, than you think. But I just wanted to see how the reel would feel without any grease at all. And it feels amazing, but it will be louder. I'm warning you, okay? Don't. If, if, the, if you're testing the reel like this, you know, in a room without much carpet, with a lot of echo, after you're done with the job, you, you might be horrified. I mean, it's it's louder now. It is it is much better to me. The resistance is gone. I mean, it's everything is better. But the truth is, the mechanical in, inescapable truth is that grease makes things smoother and quieter. So don't even open the reel if you prefer smooth and quiet over resistance and inertia. However, I am extremely anal when it comes to finding the smallest issues with my tackle when I'm fishing. And I am here to tell you that I can hear none of that noise when I'm on the water. And I don't want to insult anybody, but if I don't hear any of this noise, and there is pretty good noise here in the room when everything is quiet, if I don't hear any of this noise, I don't think many of you will hear this noise either. What I do feel and notice though, is the low resistance. Especially if you are casting like me this, you know, 0 0.8, well, I don't know about this one, but this 0 0.8 gram trout magnets, the trout magnet is not very heavy. This low resistance now, because, you know, you twitch, twitch, and you reel just a little bit, twitch, twitch, you reel just a little bit. This low resistance, I mean, it makes you grin. It makes you smile. So, for me, removing the grease from the reel for the fishing that I do is an absolutely no-brainer. Absolutely no regrets. The only problem that I see with this reel really is that it costs $70 more than the Vanford and it doesn't have any mechanical improvements over the Vanford. All of the improvements that I told you in the beginning of this video are aesthetic. Yeah, it has two more bearings. I don't think the bearings do anything noticeable to a human the different drag is probably a downgrade, if anything, unless you are a specific, you know, bass angler who fishes with ultralight equi equipment. So, you pay $70, in my opinion, just for the aesthetics. Just for the nice paint and the nicer handle. So, is this worth it? I think for 99% of the people, no. It's not going to be worth it. There is no reason for you to, to, to spend money and buy the Complex XR over the Vanford. However, there will be 1% of the people who are just suckers like me, for whom matching the rod to the reel is important. And I can tell you that 99% of the rods that come out of, of the ultralight rods that come out of Japan will look much, much better with the Complex XR compared to the Vanford. And yeah, there is the exception of the Eradicator, but the Eradicator is not even a JDM rod. So, I don't know, for most of the rods out of Japan, Complex XR will look nicer. And I personally don't regret the purchase. I even invested in a second spool. So, 
I expect that there will be some people for whom if these are the only two options, if they don't want to jump all the way to the Vanquish, they're going to go with the Complex XR anyway. 